Hello, I'm Jill Chambers. I'm a biology specialist with the Alabama Mass Science and Technology Initiative. I'm here with our friend and colleague, Jody Haney, who is the GLOBE coordinator for our region. The Alabama Mass Science and Technology Initiative is an initiative that improves science and math scores statewide, and our mission is to support Alabama educators and students in learning STEM through doing STEM. On days gone by, the GLOBE initiative was all over the state of Alabama. It was a fantastic initiative and all of the schools had engaged. Over recent times through COVID and loss of personnel, our impact in the state has diminished. We are reaching out now to try and reestablish that valuable relationship that Amstai had with our GLOBE colleagues. So the AMSI group reached out to the Globe, uh, the U.S. Globe Coordination Office in 2021. So in April, we had our first meeting. We did some planning before that meeting, but we ha held the first meeting in April of 21 during COVID. So this was a, a virtual meeting via Zoom. Um, we had a training team of all the usual suspects who you see there. Our participants included AMSI specialists from 11 regions around the state in the grade bands K2, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 9, 12. There was a total of approximately seven participants and it included specialists, but also uh, State Department of Education. Uh, leaders and other administrators from the AMSI organization. The goal was to really, our uh, goals were to uh, reestablish what is GLOBE. Some people had never heard of GLOBE um, and then to figure out, well, why should we be using GLOBE? And then also to introduce new activities and resources for the veteran specialists who had been using GLOBE for quite some time. In April of 2022, instead of meeting virtually, we're actually able to meet face to face. And so we held a training in Gulf Shores State Park in Alabama. Again, we had a, a training team there and Femi from the University of Toledo was a candidate trainer who joined us and earned his trainer certification at the uh, Amstai training. We trained in all four spheres. Uh, we used materials that Alabama uh, owned and was stocked in the Amstai warehouses. And we did a very hands-on but very low-tech uh, training. And you can see that we were using things like, uh, you know, all the globe equipment and supplies, but chart paper and markers rather than doing computer presentations and so forth. Um, maybe one of the best parts of the uh, week is that we did creative storytelling with data. So all of the globe specialists and participants collected globe data throughout our time together. And then they summed up what they uh, found to be true based on these data collections through um, very creative storytelling. Um, as we sit today, we have our first five GLOBE trainers and a new leader. So you can see that we have uh, trainers from around the, the science specialists from around the state, Aaron Casby, Chelsea Bailey, Natalie Burt, Roger Burkhead, and of course, Dr. Jill Chambers, who's here with us today. Um, the way we came up with those five folks is that we first started with an AMSI GLOBE work group for, um, of 11 AMSI specialists that went through the Gulf Shores training that were interested in, in being part of the GLOBE program. From that group, we uh, surveyed them to see who was ready to start the training process. And we identified five of the 11 that had the credentials needed for GLOBE trainer, and that would be two years in GLOBE and plus all the other um, things that are needed in order to be successful there. Um, so, uh, we, the new leader that we have right now is Carrie Richberg. She just took over within the last month or so, and she uh, is a math educator, math administrator, but she's um, very passionate um, and I think will lead us into the future. The uh, work group is, uh, we're working on some sustainability uh, to make sure that this can last beyond the first few years of us getting together. So we've identified these five uh, trainers and they have been trained and certified. We wanna get five additional GLOBE work group members to become trainers by 2026. The first five trainers are training in hydrosphere. The plan is really to have the next five train in pedosphere. Um, and then we wanna get one or two mentor trainers certified by 2026. And then we really feel like we'll be in a very sustainable place. And of course, I will still be working with the uh, Amstai group through 2026. So we meet regularly and we just take on step-by-step -step problem solve and take on uh, what we need to do next to, to grow uh, Globe in Alabama. Okay, so our current happenings, oh boy, it has been fantastic. It is. It was a fantastic year. So uh, Jody um, reached out to us, and as you heard earlier, she formed our five uh, colleagues that we are, that is our original OG team. And uh, we're going to call us OGs because we just reestablished GLOBE after so many years of not having it in our state. And so she was able to give us a mini grant and... Um, we had our first, actually our first training where we trained a few more specialists and some teachers in Montgomery, Alabama, and it was fantastic. And, and I think that the most, uh, I, I think the most value that came with that training is watching the elementary teachers and how they actually really were able to find a way that they could engage their elementary students in life science. It, it was amazing. So we, um, 
are targeting other science teachers to help fill in these gaps so we can expand this program. Um, in March, we had an amazing trip, and I, you can see some pictures on our slides of the Mobile Bay Estuary at Weeks Bay, excuse me. And <clears throat> at Weeks Bay, we did another hydrology session. It was it was very popular. We actually had, um, we're not able to accommodate all of the teachers that wanted to join that, and so we are looking forward to going back to Weeks Bay so that we can train those teachers who weren't able to make it into our, our first um, week's bay hydrology training. October 29th and 30th, we're going to be doing our third hydrology training in Florence. So our goal is to target uh, the northern part of the state, the middle part of the state, and the southern part of the state. Uh, because as of now, there's only five trainers in Alabama. And as we expand our trainers, we're going to be spreading across the state. Jody was able to attend our first and second training and assist us. And on the one training that we started incorporating the mosquito protocol, and that was very popular. And it was something that I feel is valuable to this region because we have been being in the southern part of the United States, we are having seen more and more mosquito related illnesses. So in my reflections, I just I have had past experience with Globe and I had loved it so much and have always supported it. Uh, I, I was trained and uh, about a decade ago and um, was very interested in, in moving this program forward in our state. But unfortunately, as things happened, the program became uh, less used and the teachers who were trained in Globe were not able to get the resources they needed through our, our outreach as they normally were. And so the program kind of faded. But I love the insight that I've gained from doing GLOW because it just gives you a worldwide perspective and literally a worldwide perspective of what's going on and the phenomenon of hydrology. And we're looking forward to also doing the pedosphere. We're so grateful that Jody was able to be our sponsor for our region because she is fantastic and we love working with her so much. Um, she has been supportive and has helped us really grow. And we're, we're excited to work with GLOBE. And I, I'm just looking forward to watching this program grow and with the help of Jody. Thank you so much. And please, any questions?